G'day, in today's video I'm going to show you through the tilter cage for the C400. This is the pro version which has the extension arm and the VCT shoulder pad. Thank you to those who suggested the options for mounting my transmitter off here. The little part from Amazon just arrived so retrofitted an old block I had to be able to take the little small rig adapter. Now I can just snap that up here and uh, carry on. What I do like about this cage is it's built like a tank. It does feel very strong. There's no flex. Definitely feels like it's going to last, which is a good thing. It doesn't feel cheap. Now the extension arm for the hand grip, you can only extend it an extra four centimeters. Now for my arm, I would prefer a longer one. Most of these kind of kit arms aren't long enough for me anyway. And it's okay because I don't really do too much off the shoulder work so I only need to use this a couple of times throughout the year so it's not a big issue but if you're taller than me or as tall as me then you might end up having to buy a little rosette extension arm just to give you the longer piece. The cable that comes with it is definitely gives you another maybe like four inches that you could extend out if you needed it and obviously it's it's not a push it's a twist so you've got to unlock the nut and then you can adjust it to where you need to be so when transporting um, or making adjustments in the field you will just need an extra pair of hands to uh, make that adjustment for you It'd be very tricky to do that whilst holding the camera but we're nifty people we can figure this stuff out now on the side here you've got your rosette to put the hand grip on the side of the camera when you're not using the extension arm i found that to be in a good spot it's more or less mirroring the on-camera one, it's just set back a tiny bit and a touch lower, but I was comfortable with where I could position it, so that was good. Now, all of these are kind of 3 8 There's a couple of quarter 20s down the front here, but with the hand grip on, obviously you can't use the front ones, and then your hand will block the back ones. So if you're using the rosette and the hand grip up here, this basically, is any of these ports here are not useful. Coming around to the back, I love the V-lock mount. You've got your pass-through USB-C on the side, so a 60 watt, 20 watt, and a 45 watt. You've got your Limo, and you've got the two D-taps on top. You can adjust this to good levels, which I'm happy with. When the BP-60 is in, you just have to leave the V-lock out a bit on an angle like that, which is fine. If you're using the 30 or no battery, then you can be nice and flat. Coming around to the camera left, you've got the NATO rail at this front side, and then you've got some accessory quarter 20 and you got one three eighths. My vision for the NATO rail is that I have an old top handle that when I want to use two grip handles, this is where I'll pop it, or popping the tilter wheel, I could use it closer to the body here. So that's an option that I haven't tested, but I think I will use. You've got the rosette if you're going to use both two arms if you have another arm. Now probably the downfall and where I'm most uncomfortable with this cage is the top handle and top plate. Now the top handle is a beast it's solid as a rock which I really like and particularly given that this current setup with this lens and a v-lock is roughly six kilos when using the easy rig I want a top handle that is stable that there's going to be no flex and just no deterioration to the pieces on top here which this is strong and it's going to be fine I feel but the four mounting points for the top handle then lead you to lose some of the 3 8 holes for accessories so then you're kind of very limited as to what you can put up here so each end kind of drops off two so you've kind of lost four because it's just too snug against the adapter and where they screw in so i'm a little bummed by that it looks like you can take this rear one off and just have the top handle with the two points at the front that might be fine i haven't tested that yet and that would free up the rear access uh, the rear quarter 20 and three eighths but I'm just going to leave it for now unless I have a pressing issue which I need to get up here but when I was trying to figure out where would I put the Rode Wireless Pro Pack or the Theos Pack I would like to get at least the Wireless Pro under here 
but just with these rear arms and the position, it was just a bit tricky to get that in. And obviously you can't use the uh, hot shoe on the camera body because these the top plate obviously is too small for uh, the Rodewiles Pro. So I've popped it up here for now, which does uh, get in the way of the hand grip if when it's on, but I'm not using the hand grip very often other than to lift it up and put it on the easy rig or put it onto the tripod. Um, but that is something that I will press against and just have to be mindful that I don't knock off. So not ideal, but it's more so for me trying to figure out my ergonomics and what I need, which I don't know if any of the other brands would really get me there. But I definitely think if you have the money, I think you might find better value in a couple of the other ones. Value for money wise, this is beautiful. And I think I'm gonna keep it. And I've just got to figure out my little zone up the top here to get me in in the happiness space so this is the space i think i'll live in most of the time so hand grip on the body uh, not so worried about using the vct obviously because most of the time i'm on the easy rig all in all i think the tilter cage is phenomenal value for the price particularly if you don't need the vct so you don't need the shoulder pad or the arm grip i think the the price for just the cage is really good value if you don't have too many accessories to put on top I don't think the top handle is going to be an issue for you. Overall, I'm happy. Just got to figure out the little zone of uh, pleasantness up here. Now, for my shooting, I actually find I'm pretty happy with the monitor. I'm not in need of an external monitor at the moment. I've got the Hollyland 7-inch Pyro, which is probably the one I might put on for certain jobs. Now, that will lead me to try and figure out where to chuck the Canon monitor to still have access to the menu, touchscreen and the autofocus. I think I would end up just putting it in the cold shoe on top and just have it centered. And then obviously I wouldn't need this because it's transmitting through the monitor itself. So that's an option that I think I'll try and build and test on a job. Now, one thing I was super bummed, I got the mid 49 monitor um, so it's called the monitor hinge for the C400, C300, C500. Where I got stuck with this and why I can't use it is with the tilter cage using the top handle and an easy rig ball, there's nowhere to put this because this point has to come out, but then the monitor goes back in. So you're you end up too close, if down here, you're too close to the handle. And then if you're up here, you're obviously in the way of your hand grip and mounting point. And obviously on the front, because this is designed to extend a 15 mil rail out, there's no mounting point on top. So you couldn't even mount it there and have it come back in. Now I did play with the idea of turning it round and having this face that way, but then I just found it was too far off to the side. So you would, you could tuck it right in you know, to the middle maybe, and then have it out here. It's not too bad, but it's just not exactly what I wanted. So unfortunately the mid 49, monitor arm didn't work for me but i'm looking at maybe another option to extend the viewfinder out but i'll have a play with that right i so i thought i'd better test the vertical mounting options i chose to do the grip side because you can do two screws on the base plate so first of all i had to remove the rosette attachment and then i grabbed the base plate pretty sure this is the base plate that came with my CT12 because it's a little bit longer than the base plate that comes with this cage in the Pro Kit. With the monitor, I took off the extension NATO rail and then just put the monitor directly onto the tilter NATO rail. And that seemed to 
work really well. It's relatively centered before the cutout for the ND buttons. Now you can see on the tripod here, it works really well. It looks good. It's a doesn't seem out of place. You get the full range of the monitor movement, which I thought was good. You can either, if you're shooting low, have the monitor flat or have it high. And then you've got the left, right tilt to the monitor as well. So I was actually quite surprised how well it did. If you're going to pop it on an easy rig, you've got two quarter 20 options there, which I didn't have time to test, but that looks to be roughly probably a little bit weighted to the right side, but you could kind of counterbalance that as required. So all in all, you can see I'm a little confused this week. Like it, don't love it. Hasn't got exactly the right options for me. Am I gonna keep looking for something else? Yes, but I'll stick pretty with this for the moment. Let me know your thoughts. I think each of these items and each of the brands that make cages, you obviously can't get the right setup for everyone. So like my wants for having the viewfinder kind of close, but then having an easy rig ball mount, also having a transmitter and then wanting to put like a radio pack somewhere close by whilst using a hand grip on the side does limit and is you I guess that's the way I like to do it as where I know a lot of people don't use the hand grips so you could put your wireless down here or even your radio pack I think I'm just the pain in the ass to be honest but I'll figure it out from there the other thing to mention is the mid 49 breakout box where you've got your full-size XLR and full-size timecode and Genlock. I love the look of that. So, you know, heaven knows, I may save up some more Bickies and go for the mid-49 ecosystem instead. But in saying that, tilters, beautiful. I love this back cage, uh, love this back V-mount. And uh, yeah, anyway, I think I'm lost. I think you can feel it. I uh, hope you have a great week. Talk to you very soon. and. Uh, Keep up the comments down below. I love it. Cheers.